Steve here from the Market Direct Group in Sydney. I'm here to show you over the 2017 model Cruiser Highside. It's our 10th anniversary year this year and we're very excited about that. So this is an extreme off-road Cruiser Highside. Let's go and have a look at it. We're going to start at the front end here. You've got your poly block hitch, rated to two tonne. You've got a handle that we mount to it, so for easier manoeuvrability if you need to move your trailer around on site. We've got full ADR compliant safety chains, dual ones obviously, one either side. You've got a handbrake here, winch pole, winch, and a nice strong Alco jockey wheel. Drawbar itself is six inches, nice strong drawbar. Okay, up the front here we've got your stone guard. You've got metal either side, mesh in the middle, mounted on alloy. ADR compliant clearance lights. In between your front box here, We've got your full stainless steel, two 20 litre jerry can holders and two four kilo gas bottle holders. And this is a gas regulator too, which mounts into your bottle and it's plumbed back to your kitchen. Okay, on top of your fridge slide area and storage area here, you've got this nice flat surface. We mount these bars along here so you can ratchet strap, carry luggage on the top. Good storage compartment. Inside here, we've got the fridge slide. Now the Cruiser High Side, it's called the High Side because it's got a much bigger High Side than a few of our other models and you've got an absolutely massive fridge slide in here. You've basically got 580 clearance from your base of your fridge slide to the rubber, 990 deep, 600 wide. There's not many fridges on the market that this won't take. As you can see, all these latches are full stainless steel. They're full stainless. Your hinges are full stainless. You've got another little 12 volt socket here on the outside. When we go in, that's pinch sealed rubber. And these latches are basically adjustable. So over time, if they start to squash a little bit more, you can just adjust these little latches, get a tighter pinch on it. You've got a very generous pant sliding drawer in here. Up the top is storage from one side to the other. Generally, we use that for pole storage up there. Coming along here now, we've got the full stainless steel gas struts. Excellent gas struts, very strong. Uh, full stainless steel through here, alloy top stainless steel latches to your utility rack. Um, utility rack's rated to 120 kgs and we've put these nice rubber strips on either side. So what a lot of people like to do is if they own a boat they'll throw their winch over and winch their boat up on top as well. You can use the winch for that. Okay we're going to pull out the stainless steel kitchen now. Just before I do you'll see right underneath it here is your water outlet and your gas outlet as well. Pull it out all the way till it stops and you can see it locks into position. It does come with a leg, but for a quick side of the road cup of tea or a quick sandwich, you don't need to put the leg in. If you're gonna set it up, leave it there for a week, put your leg up. You've got tempered glass above your sink, tempered glass above your Thetford four burner stove as well. Plenty of storage in this guy. You've got a lovely cutlery drawer there. That's basically where you drop out your gas hose and your water hose to plug in. Uh, nice little storage drawer here as well under the sink and plenty of storage all around the top of your camper as well. You've got LED lights on that end, LED lights on this end and two more storage compartments exactly like this one over the back. Just for all your condiments, cleaning stuff, salts, peppers, basically whatever you want to store in there. Now the Cruiser high side also has the dual spare wheels. Uh, you've got LED lights on there, obviously number plate lights. Down here, rated recovery points. It's a full off-road camper this. We expect you to take it wherever you want to take it, and they're rated to about two ton. Okay, so mounted on the back here, we've got another winch, which is basically used for, once we're set up, this winch is used for bringing it back over. Um, on your utility rack here, we've got dual struts mounted. And you've got another little box here. It's got a limited amount of storage in it, but what it is, is your water pump for your kitchen is located in that box, easy accessibility. Okay, another feature of the Cruiser High Side, we've got the stabiliser legs here, simple operation. Pull the blue handle, drops down. You can lock it into different positions, out, straight, basically however you want to do it. Then use the spindle supplied here to basically wind it down to stabilise your trailer. Right next to your rear storage here, you've got your water tank inlet key lockable as well so that's where you fill your water tank from and we move up here on the cruiser high side we have optional 240 which basically means if you're on a powered site or you want to run a generator you do a lot of bush camping that's where you'll plug it into your 15 amp connection 
Then we also have a circuit breaker inside and two 240 outlets, so you can run absolutely anything you want. Kettle from home, kitchen from home, your wife can use the blow dryer even. Okay, all the cruiser high sides come standard with the alloy rims. Now it's a six stud Land Cruiser pattern with a zero offset. Uh, we run 265-75 R16 Good Ride Mud Terrain tyres. We haven't had a problem with them yet, they're a very good tyre. We run independent suspension, independent trailing arm suspension, heavy duty coil, dual shocks on either side. Absolutely tough as teak, you can smash this trailer anywhere and you won't be able to hurt it. Inside this panel here is basically your electrical control panel. So your main isolator switch there, turn that on. It'll tell you up here how many volts your battery's got and how many amps it's actually using. This gadget here is just press that button, that tells you the level of your water tank. And then all these switches here basically turn on what you want to use. So all your DC outlets in there, your lights, the 12 volt socket in your fridge slide for your refrigerator, and water pump for your kitchen. Okay, we've got a bit more storage over this side as well. Bring him open. But we do have another nifty little drawer that comes out there. Okay, the final compartment here, again, is a very large storage, generous storage area. Up the top, and another little slide that comes out the bottom. Now when you pick up your brand new Cruiser high side, this is basically the kit that you receive. Got a wheel brace to check your wheel nuts consistently, keys, a spare set of bearings for your wheels, fire extinguisher as well, it all comes standard. Okay, we used to supply a step in these, but we figured out why supply a step when we can actually put a lockable security box in here? So, you've actually got a key lockable security box that doubles as a step. Leave all your valuables in there if you're leaving camp. Cruiser High Side also comes with the inner spring mattress. It's the only forward fold we do with the inner spring mattress. Okay, this is another double bed. So you've got bed up the top, a couple of little kitties, bed down the bottom as well. But it's also going to double into a club lounge with a table to dine at. And there you are, nice little club lounge. All the cruiser high sides now are coming standard with the inbuilt stereo system as well. The battery system on the cruiser high side is three 100 amp hour AGM batteries as standard. Underneath the second seat here, we have the standard 1000 watt inverter, your battery charger, and this high side has also got the optional 240 outlet on it. So that's your 15 amp inlet on the outside and full 240 outlets on the inside. Another fantastic feature of this tent is the ensuite attached to the side wall. Look at the size of those windows for maximum ventilation. You've got another smaller one on the other side near your ensuite, another massive window around here. What I'm really happy about is the weather lay system we do with the door here. So you've got your water coming off your top of your roof. You've got your canvas coming over the zip here. So it's gonna push the water away from the canvas. It's gonna come rolling down and then we reverse the canvas down the bottom. So instead of the water getting here and catching on the canvas, again, it's just gonna run off. Always have your plastic coming to the outside and your water's just gonna run off away from your tent. So here it is, the Cruiser High Side fully set up. Some of the best features, the full independent suspension, heavy duty coils, dual shocks, that massive fridge slide with 580 high clearance, all the storage boxes, beautiful stainless steel four burner kitchen, an excellent trailer, dual spare wheels, your inverter, there's too much to talk about. Give the guys at MDC a call, let them run you through it. It's an absolutely sensational trailer.